Is there a bachelorette party over here? Yeah! A comedian's worst nightmare, but you guys are actually very well behaved, and I respect that, I like that. Uh, I did a show one time in Cincinnati, there was a bachelorette party in the front row, and the whole show, the bachelorette, that's just kept whispering, where's Melissa? Where's Melissa? And then halfway through the show, the bride stood up and was like, fuck Melissa! <laughs> This is my night! <laughs> and I just imagine that somewhere Melissa was bleeding out in a ditch or something. She's like, I can't call for help, it's Megan's night, you know? <laughs> Gotta survive in this uncooked penis pasta, you know? <laughs> Do you have a penis? There we go! Montana, it's white, of course. Uh, <laughs> That's the whitest penis I've ever seen. I'm a black man compared to that. Holy shit. Not the length, I just mean the color. Yeah. Uh, Idaho! I didn't know there were so many Mormons here. I thought that was just a Utah. Is there any Mormons here? Yeah! Oh yeah, dude. Mormonism rips, man. I have no notes for Joseph Smith. That's the greatest prophet of all time. He's the greatest. He created an entire religion just so he could get pussies. <laughs> that rocks. Jesus came down to earth like, I'm gonna save you the poor and save you from sin. Yawn. Don't care. How about you get your dick sucked, you fucking virgin? <laughs> You're a virgin. Your mom's a virgin. This religion sucks. Dude. Mormons fuck. Mormons come in everyone. I like that. Guys, when they hate their wives, they cheat, not Joseph Smith. He's like, no, an angel came to me, gave me this book, says I can have 30 more wives, Helen. How you like that, you dumb bitch? Yeah. I like Mormonism because it's the only religion that, like, they revised the religion, like, 50 years after it started. They started polygamous, then 60 years later, they're like, ah! Joseph fucked up. <laughs> to our guy, but no other religion's ever done that. Christianity's not like, well, Jesus was, but no one else can be black. Okay. <laughs> I was in Bozeman on Friday, Boise yesterday, Spokane today. I'm calling it the neo-Nazi fever dream tour. <laughs> Town. I did a little research. This is where the modern white supremacist movement started. Holy shit. Which is ironic because Spokane is proof you need more than white people for a good city. Uh. <laughs> and, and you ever hear someone be like, white people are superior? I'd be like, I'll buy you a ticket to Spokane, buddy. <laughs> you walk down Sprague Street, you're gonna be like, God, I guess we need the Jews. Uh. <laughs> I was waiting all day to say that. Oh, I was really pumped about that one. What? I, this, I, this is a good city for me. This is kind of a good city for ugly white men. This is a city of mediocre looking white men. I like that. These are my people. I love you guys. A lot of brutal facial hair. A lot of, some of the worst beards I've ever seen. Every guy here looks like he's in a Pantera cover band. It's, <laughs> This is one of the last days you can have a face tattoo in a Roth IRA. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot.